Don't be tricked, choose the best. What do Pushkash and Michael Schumacher have in common? Or perhaps a Rolls Royce and a Rolex, a Dom Perignon Champagne and Beluga Caviar? Quality of course. Everyone knows they represent the best in their categories. Now we're introducing another such market participant. The DXN company raises the highest quality Ganoderma mushrooms in the world. And thanks to the unique technologies, they produce the best Ganoderma products around the globe. The center of the company is in Malaysia, Asia. Sadly, for the everyday customer, Asian quality is often considered equal to the poorest produce from the Chinese market. We would like to protect you from this misconception and ensure that you avoid inferiority quality products by introducing the world's premium Ganoderma producer. From this video, you will get to know what is common in hens and the Ganoderma. Also, you'll get a better insight into what issues poorly grown and processed Ganoderma can lead to. Join us and learn about some of these fascinating secrets. How it all started. Ganoderma acidum is found all over the planet, apart from the Antarctic. But in Malaysia, it is especially plentiful. The 200 subspecies of the mushroom are present everywhere. These subgenera have different amounts of active ingredient. The founder of DXN, Dr. Lim, searched for the subspecies with the highest amount of active ingredient to start the process. The selection took place not in laboratories, but in the poultry yard. It is known that hens, after a few years of fertility, stop laying eggs. Dr. Lim selected these hens sorted them into several groups and fed them with various subspecies of Ganoderma. He observed how the different groups were influenced by this special food. The greatest evidence of the value of Ganoderma was when the hens, after a moderate amount of time, started laying eggs again and became much more active. In the evenings, they flew up to the branches of the surrounding trees to roost for the night. This is an instinctive habit as poultry as long as they have suitable conditions. As a result, Dr. Lim chose six subspecies of Ganoderma, which had the biggest influence on the hens. After experimenting on animals, his colleagues tried Ganoderma on themselves and their acquaintances to see what effects Ganoderma consumption had on the human body. In Chinese medicine, Ganoderma has been used for thousands of years. It is considered to be the king of herbs so the results of the experiments were not a surprise. Propagating Ganoderma lucidum. Fungi, as it is well known, propagates using spores. One Ganoderma can produce 30 million. However, DXN does not propagate to quite this extent. When the mycelium forms from the spores, one to two percent grow slowly. The majority grow normally, and another one to two percent exhibit especially fast and rapid growth. DXN uses only this 1-2% to for further reproduction. The life cycle of Ganoderma lasts three months. This is how long it takes a spore to become a full-grown fungus and start to produce spores itself. In the first period of growth, mycelium weaves throughout the soil until on the tissue a tiny mushroom appears. Ten years ago, this process lasted for 17 days, but today, with the DXN selection process, it has been shortened to 14 days. The selection process is also the reason for the outstanding quality of the DXN GL capsule, which is made from the mycelium. DXN's policy is to continue search for the best of the best. DXN has been accused of breeding genetically modified Ganoderma, However, this is not genetic engineering, but careful breeding in the same way that farmers worldwide have done for generations. DXN has been selecting the best species for 25 years, which is nearly 100 plant generations, a considerable advantage over its competitors. Firms which do not produce their own Ganoderma are unable to compete with DXN for one simple reason. Those who buy Ganoderma from farmers pay not for the active substance, but for kilos of the mushroom. The consequence of this is that farmers intend to grow enormous and heavy Ganoderma. 
However, there is no connection between the size of the Ganoderma and its active ingredient. Is there any reason not to use Ganoderma from other sources? There is one important factor that needs to be taken into consideration when buying Ganoderma. Ganoderma is an excellent soil cleaner because it absorbs 30 times more nutrients and chemical residues than other plants. As a result, farmers who previously grew vegetables on their land and often use chemicals to protect the crop would then grow Ganoderma to clean the soil. Unfortunately, it will absorb these chemicals and any heavy metals such as lead, arsenic and cadmium. DXN has been cultivating Ganoderma on its own farm since 1992. This is the only guarantee that there is strictly controlled cleanliness. The DXN farm is also open to tourists. It's freely accessible and it really exists, although even the tourists have to respect our hygiene standards. DXN emphasizes high quality and the high levels of cleanliness in Ganoderma production as its top priorities. When is Ganoderma harvested? Many companies boast that their Ganoderma farm scent can be felt from afar. No one should buy Ganoderma from farms where the scent of Ganoderma can be smelt. It is worth knowing that when Ganoderma smells, the spores have already been released, so the fungus is generally worthless by this time. Subspecies cultivated by DXN have the common attribute of being shiny when the mushroom is fully grown. Throughout its life, Ganoderma is first white, then it turns yellow and finally crimson. Eventually it becomes shiny as if it has been varnished. When this occurs, the mushrooms must be harvested without any delay before the spores are released. Certification. What are the aspects that make DXN's products different from its rivals? People nowadays talk a lot about certification. What is the best way to prove a product has an organic origin? The problem with certifications issued in a specific country is that they are relevant only there. Even if products can be tested in Malaysia, it is in vain because the certificate of bio rating will not be accepted in any other countries. Certainly, DXN products have received the necessary certifications for the processing of Ganoderma in Malaysia. In November 2007, the DXN farm was accredited under the Malaysian Organic Scheme by the Department of Agriculture. This meets the standards of MS 1529-2001, a certified organic farm. It has been granted the TGA, Therapeutic Goods Administration, certification from the Ministry of Health and Aging, Australia. And it is also accredited with MS ISO 9001-2000 certifications from the Lloyd's Register of Quality Assurance. It is also amongst the first companies to receive the GMP, Good Manufacturing Practice certification from the National Pharmaceutical Control Bureau and the Minister of Health in Malaysia. The solution to global certification was for DXN to achieve an MS ISO 14001-2004 certification from Lloyd's Register Quality Assurance, which it did in July 2000. It is more than a simple certificate for being an organic farm. It ensures that all activities for cultivating the Ganoderma are met under this qualification standard and comply with the legal requirements set forth by the Department of the Environment. DXN's organic farm must not use fertilizer, insecticides and growth promoters. They are not allowed to emit pollutants. Many farms use compost and manures. Consequently, they cannot receive the ISO 14001 certification. Similarly, it cannot pollute the environment. Ganoderma belongs to a family of tinder fungi and amongst its 200 subspecies, there are some that parasitize living trees. DXN went to great lengths to prove scientifically that those species of Ganoderma cultivated by them attack only rotten trees. They do not endanger the nearby environment of the farm. Consequently, the company managed to achieve ISO 14001 certification, which we must be renewed annually. DXN is one of few companies possibly the only one in the world which possesses this. 
The quality of a product or a firm must be proved by the company and independent organisations. When we talk about quality, we should be aware of which ones are the highest certifications. The previously mentioned ISO 14001 certification is one of these. The other is the GMP, Good Manufacturing Process, certification in Malaysia, Indonesia, India and in Australia. In the DXN pharmaceutical factory, the products are processed to the purity of pharmaceutical factories. Another important certification of high quality is MS ISO IEC 17025. A laboratory department of DXN Holdings, BHD, has been accorded the certificate of accreditation for its technical confidence, defined scope, and operation of a laboratory quality management system. It is probably the best Ganoderma lab in the world. So whenever you lift a Ganoderma product off the shelf, check that these important certifications are listed before you buy. From mushroom to capsule, it is not enough to have excellent product material to get a high quality Ganoderma product. It is also essential to have perfect processing technology. Ganoderma in its original state is unfit to eat and somehow it must be made consumable. In many parts of the world, the so-called double boiling technology is used in processing. First, Ganoderma mushrooms undergo a four hour long boiling treatment. Then the mushrooms are taken out and the remaining brew is boiled for another six hours until the water has evaporated. Finally, maltodextrin is added to make it into a powdery consistency. With this technology, only a 25 to 30% active ingredient content can be created. Those who buy such Ganoderma powder buy starch rather than Ganoderma. The real problem while processing Ganoderma is that during the grinding of the mushroom, their consistency becomes quite cottony. It becomes impossible to grind them further. Some companies dry Ganoderma mushrooms at high temperatures before grinding to solve the problem. Afterwards, the pulverized Ganoderma is used to fill capsules. These are some of the worst quality products. Frequently, the packaging doesn't even say what technology was used in the processing. Why is DXN technology different? First, the harvested Ganoderma is put through a technology called dry freezing or freeze drying. This means drying to low temperatures. Then a cutting machine cuts the mushrooms into small pieces. When this is completed, the machine is switched to a higher speed and the spores and fibers disintegrate. They do not become cottony because they've been previously cut into small pieces. Finally, the spores and other useful components are separated from the fibers in an airbag. The last step of the processing technology is DXN's own invention. A five-speed grinder reduces the useful components to nano size. This technology is unique. None of the other companies processing Ganoderma possess it. The result is an incredibly soft powder which contains only the active ingredient content of the Ganoderma without the fibers. A kilo of Ganoderma powder is made from 20 kilos of mushrooms. According to many, it's enough to grind the Ganoderma into powder, but this is clearly not the case. Spirulina. The cultivation and processing technology of spirulina, DXN's second main product, is quite similar to Ganoderma. According to Dr. Lim, the founder of DXN, if spirulina cannot protect itself, how will it be able to protect us? This algae has a very simple cell wall, which is what makes it good for us to consume it. However, this is a disadvantage when it is exposed to its enemies in its natural habitat. A lot of companies add chemicals to water to reduce this destruction. The spirulina attracts heavy metals and binds them. And that is the point. It should do that in the human body and not in the pool where it was cultivated. DXN put its stock of spirulina propagated in the lab into the pool where it was not protected in any way. Some 90% of the stock was destroyed. The surviving material was taken back to the lab and propagated again, then back to the pool. Now, only 80% were destroyed. 
This procedure was repeated again and again until he managed to cultivate such strong stock that it became the first of its kind in the world. According to experts, such an excellent quality of spirulina could be bought in Japan, but it costs far more. So, dear ladies and gentlemen, maybe you are the ones who purchase the more expensive but better quality petrol for your car. You may buy food from local farmers because you trust the quality of their goods. So why should you be satisfied with inferior quality Ganoderma or spirulina processed with unsuitable technology? Or what's more, it is not even a cheaper product. As the saying goes, the body is the temple of the soul. So do we not deserve the best when our well-being and our health depend on it? We cannot exchange our body as it ages, so perhaps we should choose the best for it as well.